Today is going to be a day of wonderful news for Nintendo goodness. And you know what? This is what happens as we enter the month of September, which is traditionally one of the biggest news months of the year for Nintendo. And already it's only September 1st, and we have so much to talk about today that, you know what, we actually need to take advantage of our early video slot. So we are going to be separating this out today, talking about the rumors for the next Nintendo Direct right now, and then in our Prime News episode at 3 p.m., we'll have some big news about games like Mario Wonder, and so much more. We actually have so much news already gathered at this time that the episode's already looking like it's going to be a banger. But before we jump into these rumors for the September Nintendo Direct, and yes, that includes the fact that the September Nintendo Direct is actually happening, we need to remind you that we're on our road to 150,000 subscribers. So I would appreciate it if you would drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and ring a ling that ding a ling to be notified of all future uploads. All right, let's get into these rumors. And first, we have to start out with and someone who's got a really good track record. His name is Necro Lipe. He is a uh, reporter over at Nintendo Universo, and he has a really, really great track record. And on Twitter yesterday, he threw up, Welcome September. It was probably already September for him. And the people who went crazy with Mario Directs and our Nintendo fans will need tranquilizers in the coming weeks. Now, of course, we don't really know what he knows other than that he has hinted on family boards that he has information on Nintendo Switch 2. However, beyond some rumors dropping for the system, I don't know that anything officially happens with Nintendo Switch 2 this month, so I don't think he's referencing that specifically, nor do I think it's related to the 3D Mario that we all assume is launching alongside it. So what does he mean? Well, when he talks specifically about being excited about Mario and happened to also mention Nintendo fans suggesting more Mario goodness this month. And you know what? That Mario goodness is probably in a Nintendo Direct and that excitement for Nintendo fans in general is obviously suggesting additional announcements that are not related to Mario. Now, to back up my thought that was swirling around this tweet was that he was really talking about in the Nintendo Direct. He did respond to a comment on his post saying... Just having a Direct itself is expected. What comes from it is worth the hype. Hee <laughs> hee. So, what can we expect to come from it? Well, this is where we get into some of the juicier rumors. And we're going to start off with some that <sighs> make me really, really excited. But also, some of it we've been here before. Now, there are whispers out there, some rumors swirling in online communities about Metroid Prime 4 and the Wind Waker and Twilight Princess HD remasters. Now, what's interesting here is I don't really want to dive too deep into the Wind Waker and Twilight Princess. We've been down the road with those games, releasing individually, releasing as a dual pack, 60 bucks, shadow drops, whatever they want to do. We've been talking about the Wind Waker and Twilight Princess HD for a long time. And I think a lot of it stems from the fact that, you know what, they ported so many other Wii U games. Why wouldn't they port over the Zelda HD remaster twins from Wii U as well? And we've heard reports that it's done, and we've had reliable insiders tell us that, hey, Nintendo has these games ready to go on Switch. Why well, they're gonna come out this direct? Nah, uh, maybe the next one. Like they keep expecting it to come because they know it's done. People like Jeff Grubb, that yeah, I know a lot of you feel pretty burned uh, about all of that stuff. The speculation that maybe they do it for the 35th anniversary of Zelda, yada yada yada. So look, we don't know what's gonna happen with the Wind Waker or Twilight Princess HD, and and having this stuff swirl around in internet online communities, it could just be a lot of hopium. But this other one is something that I can at least provide. A little additional context for and the other game that seems to be swirling around is that this direct will contain the unveiling of metroid prime 4. now look i know we've been waiting since 2017 as patiently as possible for metroid prime 4 so i know that this is going to be a big deal to a lot of fans including myself and i can add some context here in that i have my own independent sources who have told me 
that Metroid Prime 4 is done. Now, it being done doesn't necessarily mean they're going to unveil it right now, but it being done does sort of suggest that it is going to be a Nintendo Switch, potentially a Nintendo Switch only game. There are some rumors we talked about about a month or two ago about how Metroid Prime 4 may be the swan song game for Nintendo Switch, and if it's announced in this direct, that may exactly prove to be the case. Now, this goes beyond, obviously, all the expected games. We expect to see the Peach game. Uh, we expect to see Mario RPG, the Ouija's Mansion, Dark Moon. Those are all expected, but Metroid Prime 4 is to be one of the big announcements, uh, supposedly. This is what's what, what's being put out there in certain online communities. Now, beyond all this, there's another really exciting thing that's been swirling, and it's swirling based on... I would say less of it being a rumor, more of it being informed speculation that makes sense and has a lot of direct evidence. So I first noticed this from Papa Genos over on YouTube. Uh, he brought this up. It doesn't seem like it's coming directly from him, although he may have some information behind the scenes because Papa Genos has been proven that he does have some industry connections. Uh, but there was a post i believe that happened on his discord server from a user named oscar and this post pulled out a bunch of interesting things about super smash bros ultimate getting a dlc fighter pass 3. so in the post as you're seeing on screen right now it says smash amiibo restocks are happening soon in many countries besides the united states historically restocks happen when promoting releases or announcements related to smash or the game characters associated with it. So it could be games related to the characters in it, or it could be for Smash itself. Now, obviously, there's a lot of third-party characters and a lot of first-party characters in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. So, yeah, it could be any number of games, but there's more data to suggest that we should be expecting it to be Smash news. The Smash Bros. Ultimate GameCube controllers are also being restocked. Now, the last two times that this happened was when Ultimate, Smash Ultimate, released back in 2018, and then right before the announcement of Fighter Pass 2. Those are the only two times that they've been officially restocked. The fact that they're being restocked again really, really heavily hints that there's something big happening with Smash. Now, Artswith, back in July... Uh, said, so, you know, they're, they're a professional amiibo seller and they have accurately predicted amiibo restocks, prior ones. And he claims that the Sora amiibo is coming, which to me, the Sora amiibo coming is really, really great news. I also am not surprised that the Sora amiibo would be coming. I, I have always had the feeling that every character out of the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate was going to get an amiibo if it didn't have one. And that included Sora. It was just a matter of when. Not if. So this bit of the news isn't that surprising, and it's a little bit old, but it is something we didn't talk about before. I just wanted to sort of toss it in here, and it was included in the post. Anyways, now, all of this might actually, though, be a reposting of information from, <laughs> let's just say, an extremely lengthy post over at Fami Boards, coming from Para Spikey. So... In that post, and I read the entire thing, it's essentially a bunch of receipts, a bunch of links, a bunch of evidence that is all suggesting that Fighter Pass 3 is coming, and it's all very, very well put together, very well sourced. It'll be linked down in the description as well, and I think the user on his Discord server was merely summarizing that post without giving credit, so I wanted to make sure that I was giving the proper source of this information credit because you know what? This sounds highly believable. And then you throw on the fact that the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe DLC is coming to an end. Nintendo might want to have something else added to NSO, potentially, that, that's going to include future updates. And so maybe this is what they want to do. It's also notable that Masahiro Sakurai uh, in July and through August slowed down how many videos he's been uploading to his YouTube channel. Now, he stated this is because of how long editing takes, but that could just be the public excuse. It could have also been that maybe he's been also working on this DLC. Uh, that's obviously speculation. A lot of this is speculation, but it all seems to line up. Now, we do have one more little rumor for you, and this is obviously 
When is the direct going to happen? We know that Zippo, we talked about this in the past, said it was going to happen next week, or at least he was really heavily hinting at next week. And it's, it is entirely possible. It could happen next week. It could happen the week after or the week after that. That's really it. It never happens after Tokyo Game Show. It's always before Tokyo Game Show. So now that we know what the window is, when do we have an idea of when it's happening? Do we have like an exact day? We just might. So Poyoro, or P-Y-O-R-O, who is a user on Twitter, and he has a 100% track record with leaks, made a joke about Zippo saying a Nintendo Direct was happening in September. And then someone responded asking what he thinks about the number 13. And then Poyoro went on to like that response. Does that mean Poyoro knows it's happening on the 13th? I don't know. One thing that's interesting to note about the way that Poyoro does his leaks and why he's maintained such an incredible track record, he doesn't drop a bunch of stuff that's not going to happen for months later. All of his leaks happen usually within a day or two of the actual announcements, making it basically that, hey, I have access and I know what's going to happen right before it happens. And things like knowing when a direct date is, look, we'd be a little bit over a week away from that. Yeah. And I would suspect if he wants to tell us a date ahead of time, like, you know, make a public tweet about it, he would say it probably at the end of next week or something that, hey, next week is the direct or something. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just throwing this out there as a possible date. I always thought the 13th made a lot of sense. It's a Wednesday. You know, I, Nintendo's done it on the 13th before. In fact, they did it back on the 13th all the way back in 2017. So, yeah, we'll, we'll just have to hold on to our britches and see either way. It is expected that sometime in the next two and a half weeks that a full Nintendo Direct should be underway. Uh, I, I'm already pretty hyped. Nintendo Direct's already pretty hyped. The fact they already show Mario Wonder, I don't think is any sort of red flag. I'm just super, super excited for this stuff. And I want to get your guys' thoughts. And if you heard any uh, any noises in the background, I do apologize. My, my dog, Link. That's right. He's named after... Uh, an infamous legendary hero. I don't know why I said infamous. A famous legendary hero uh, has been walking around and getting his his head petted this entire video. So if you're a dog lover, he's getting the love today. All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video. <laughs>